All right, guys, so we're back out here at PFI. We've got Che Bella up on the lift. And as you can see, I got all my tools, parts here. All the boys are here, help me get the car in. And uh, you guys are gonna see this thing going through a serious transformation in the next five, seven days. Uh, we're doing a one piece front end. We're gonna add this front mount intercooler. I didn't show you guys that before. Um, back door on both sides. We gotta figure out how we're gonna mount that. And then uh, we're gonna roll rods into this motor too. So you guys saw that the valves got done. So now it's time to put it back together. All right, guys, well, we got the first piston and rod pushed out. Uh, we got it sitting on the bench over here. We do have a set of bearings for it, so that's great. And this is an Eagle H-beam rod. They're good to about 650 horsepower. Um, I do have this set of Manly Turbo Tufts. These are I-beam rods, much stronger, hold a lot more power. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these things in and uh, keep on moving, boys. So what we'll do is we'll swap this piston onto this rod, then we'll use the handy dandy ARP uh, ring compressor. We'll pop it right back in, assembly lube it up, torque it down, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, well, old rods are out, all down there. New rods are back in and torqued, new bearings in, and uh, we're ready to put the bottom end back together. I can put the oil pan and stuff on. We move on to the top, get the head put back on. That don't take very long. And I think I can have all, pretty much all the mechanical stuff back together on this car today and we get ready for this big intercooler mock-up. So um, that's kind of the goal for today. I didn't get here till noon today, but you know, it is what it is. I do have to pull the crank pulley off and uh, get the water pump out and uh, do something about the timing cover because it's got a big friggin' hole in it from that, uh, that issue on the dyno. So we'll get that fixed up as well and uh, keep moving forward, boys. All right, guys, well, as you can see, I've made a huge mess. I've got shit scattered everywhere here. But uh, you guys take a look at this. You can see that uh, my motor is going back together rather quickly. I just got all the head studs torqued in 90 foot pounds. Uh, these are L19s, so they only require uh, 90 foot pounds. So we got them torqued up. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe down the rockers one more time, throw some oil down on them, get the camshafts put back in, and uh, try to get this motor completely buttoned up before I get out of here today. And uh, that way we can move on to, like I said earlier, mocking up that big old intercooler. So um, really what I wanna do is I kinda wanna leave these water lines in the car. And during race week, I wanna put a heater core back in here. And I wanna plumb these lines right to a heater core and blow, run ice water through the heater core and see if it acts as air conditioning. I think that'd be a pretty slick idea for race week. So kinda hard to walk in here cause I got stuff everywhere, but so thankful for these guys at PFI that, uh, just let me show up whenever, have full run of their shop, and, and just do it. They're, they're really awesome guys, and I'm really, really proud to call those guys my friends. So uh, we're going to get back to work on this thing, and long process. Right, I got the cams back in, got the oilers all put back in, torqued down, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and set TDC on the motor, put the new timing belt on, and then figure out what to do about a timing cover. I think I'm just gonna put that old one back on there. It's got a hole in the side of it because um, because race car, I guess. <laughs> so I know a lot of guys don't even run them. So, all right guys, we're gonna uh, keep moving forward and hopefully we'll uh, get this thing buttoned up. It was a long, long day, but we got everything put back together. I got the head on the motor, you guys saw that. I now have the turbo on, the intake manifold on, and we're starting to mock up this big giant front mount intercooler. Um, unfortunately, my trip out here to Colorado has kind of taken a bit of a turn for the worst. Um, my truck, 6.0 no, was uh, stolen from the hotel parking lot last night. Uh, it's the same hotel I've stayed at 12 or 13 times every time I come out here to PFI. Uh, I stay down there at the same hotel and Got back to the hotel about 10 o'clock last night, got checked in, I was so tired. I didn't grab everything out of my truck that I needed to. I grabbed my bag and the food that I had ordered. I was so tired I didn't even eat my food. So uh, got into the hotel, showered up, and fell right asleep, I didn't even eat my food. Um, unfortunately, woke up this morning, went out to, uh, after I had breakfast in the hotel, went out to go get in the truck, and she was gone. Um, 
thank God no one's ordered any merch lately because all of my merch that I had was in the truck. 300 t-shirts, hats, everything for my booth that I was going to do at the uh, Speed Fest. Um, lost my spare transmission, my spare transfer case, tons of spare parts in my truck, my hat or my uh, helmet, my jacket, uh, pretty much everything for racing. I, I lost it all. Uh, luckily, I got most of my spare parts in the shop. And right before I left for the hotel, I had a weird feeling, so I took all four slicks out of my truck and I put them inside the shop. Good thing I did because my truck was stolen. So uh, it's an unfortunate deal. I know cars get stolen all the time. It happens. I should know better because they've tried to steal my truck before. But this is such a good area, and I, you know, I guess you just never know. So that's where we're at today. We're going to jump back in and uh, keep working on the car. Oh, yeah. There's no teeth on this. Oh, yeah. No, not anymore. I that's all right. Was... Maybe not to begin with. That's possible. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah. Well, I think I can get it from here. Yeah. It's got most of his weight. Brad's working on his. Oh, buddy. We're all going crazy. Oh. Yeah, there's no teeth on this. Yeah, this right. would be why that didn't cut. No teeth on that bad boy, but I'll uh, I'll cut it the rest of the way by hand. Also guys, haven't really been in the mood to film very much because uh, well, one, there's a lot going on and I still got a 6.0 note on my, on my mind. They have not located it yet, it's been three days. So we're pretty sure um, from some of the locals that I've talked to around here that more than likely 6.0 is probably headed for Mexico. So uh, I'll probably never see that truck again, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's weird, I get attached to cars, but I did so much to that truck. When I bought that truck, it was a bare bones strippy model with crank up windows. I put a set of power doors in that car. I completely wired the doors so it all worked like factory. I put carpet in that truck, new interior. Um, the body was in bad shape. I put a bed on that truck. I put a front clip on that truck. Um, so basically the only thing that's the same on that truck from when I bought it is the cab itself um, and the dashboard. Other than that, I've replaced every part, the motor, Oh, and the transmission's original, but um, it's got a studded and bulletproofed, you know, 6.0 in it that's got everything you can possibly do done to it. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm kind of bummed about that. But uh, unfortunately, I do have some help on the way um, and a possible new truck in the works. So, uh, anyways, guys, we're going to jump back to work and uh, get this car finished up. I had to move my car off the lift to uh, make room for that car. But uh, like I showed you guys earlier, we changed up a bunch. The turbo's back on for the last time. I got the exhaust on, intercooler's there. I haven't done the mounts yet. We're still working on the piping. I uh, relocated my coils, moved them from the firewall onto the cylinder head to get them out of the way. And then we're gonna run the piping straight and then straight down into the intercooler. Frees up a lot of room in the engine bay. And then Brent hooked me up with a, a newer blow off valve. He said he's gonna get me, uh, get me into the 21st century and get rid of this old stuff on my car. So um, got the HKS off. I am gonna keep it though, it is sedimental. I've had it many, many years. And uh, this is just a lot bigger. It's gonna relieve the pressure faster and uh, be healthier on the motor. So uh, we're just gonna take up a couple of pipes here to uh, finish up the intake. 
finish relocating the coils and then uh, put the radiator in and mount it and this thing should be ready to go. It's chaotic over here in the shop. There's uh, Mario's over there. Steven's working on his car. Mario's drinking water. Wow. That's the only thing I I know. What's up with that? So, uh, yeah, guys, car's almost ready. And uh, it's just chaos. Yeah, there's so much going on here. So uh, we're going to get back to work and uh, get this thing finished up. Day four, uh, 6.0 is still gone. Um, I finally did speak to the manager at the hotel after waiting three days for him. And he told me uh, they would not release the video footage to me or let me see it without a subpoena. Uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, it just seems kind of odd to me. But uh, with the help of all of my friends out here in Colorado and back in Arizona, I'm still able to race this weekend. We're pushing forward. Guys have helped me out with a helmet, jacket. I even got a truck coming you know, to help me out. So um, thank you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart for helping me and uh, making this all possible. You guys, all my friends, all the guys at PFI, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, and all my friends in Arizona, Dave, you, you know what you did, man. I really appreciate you. So you guys all have a blessed day and uh, we're gonna keep pushing forward. All right guys, so again, sorry I haven't filmed very much. It's been another long day, but uh, got the intercooler and stuff done. I had to make a mount for the radiator remount it, get all this done, and now the boys help me get it pushed over here. It is on the dyno. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can't make a number. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. Jamie's gonna take the first pull. with the alternator. Somebody didn't tighten that up. I think that was me, but Aaron got us taken care of, so. Probably got some voltage now. <laughs> Probably got some voltage now. So we think we're losing a little bit of boost volume. Um, I had much smaller charge piping before, not not this big big giant intercooler here. So um, Jamie had to correct some stuff on the tune, and uh, we're gonna see what she does. down on power um, Jamie's trying to work through why uh, making 555 
about 130 down ish. Um, so I don't know. I don't it's know if it's a taken, volume issue. It's taken a lot less. Food. You know, I've had to take like 25 percent sent out, out right of it up top. Though. Why though? Are we losing boost volume? That's what I feel like we are. Cheap. Especially because, like, you see it kind of before. If I, like, I might just pull up the old graph, but I think it was still very before, and now it's like standing up and holding flat. Right. Well, let's pull the old graph and, and look. Okay. If you look at my boost curve here, like, see, it comes up and like there's 20, 20, 20. Like, it stays flat there. You know. So we're not quite sure what's going on just yet. It's not holding any pressure in the system. So we're going to hook the smoker up, send some smoke through it, and uh, go from there. Smoke hooked up into the intake, and uh, it's coming right out the exhaust. So I'm going to have a look here and see what's going on. more. right there and I'm starting to build a little no stay there stay there stay there I'm starting to build a little bit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah we're well, coming out the exhaust now and I'm at I'm at least at zero now so we're looking boys so we hooked up the uh pressure tester I'm gonna see where we're losing air. If we cannot get this thing to stop leaking, we are going to go ahead and do something like this. We're going to take these, we're going to weld those right to the intercooler because these clamps suck. And then we're just going to boot it on both sides. Be done, simple, easy. It'll stop leaking boost and we'll start making some power. It's the next morning. We're in the shop. We got everything mocked up back in the car. And as I showed you guys, we're going to go ahead and ditch those clamps. Jamie's going to weld the stuff on there for me. And then uh, he's going to tack it up. We'll go test fit it in the car. Make the other side. And then we can get this thing bolted back up, pressure tested, and back on the got dyno. The intercooler issues worked out. And we got it back on the dyno. Uh, it's actually holding pressure. We pressure tested it. So should make... Should be back to making that same power again. Brent's over there trying to get the Freedom Civic done. Trying. Uh, he'll get it done. So he looks pretty close. All right, right while she's running again, Jamie's letting her warm up on the dyno here, put some heat in the motor. Was. <laughs> See Brent's. Yeah, let's go. I hear the sound of freedom over here. Nice.
10. And that's when it, because it lugged the motor down. Yeah. I just could be safe. Backed out. Yep. Let me run over and look for leaks. I'm gonna help right So much going on. My car's on the dyno. Freedom Civic's over there for its first startup. So we're jumping back and forth, but looks like the couplers fixed the problem. Made uh, 510 all over the tires on like 13 pounds of boost. So I think that fixed the problem. We got all that volume back right. and the fuel curve's still good. So, so um, try to spray the shit out of the tires one more time. Yep. There's the two runs so far. It came down. What'd you do different between the two runs? Got the tires to stick. Ah, got it, got it. Now, unloaded, it just gives you no actual real, right. like, real data. Or so yeah, that's loaded up. 13 pounds made 456. So as we start coming into the boost now, we should get that power back. So I know a lot of you guys will jump in the comments and say, well, you know, why last night did it make this versus that? You always, what did you just say, Jamie? Just turn, it down turn, it and turn it back down back up, okay? and then work your way back up. It's going to be different because we were basically we had pressure, but we didn't have volume. So that's going to change our fuel curve and everything. Too, right. Because now that we have volume, it's more air, which means it needs more fuel. Right. So it all kind of comes. It's all better to just come back down to the gate and then start working our way back up on the boost. Um, God forbid we left it where it was at and it just ran out of control and... So Jamie's still working on that. I heard Freedom over here, like I showed you guys a minute ago. Looks like the Freedom Civic is running. Brent's on the keyboard right now. And uh, looks like he'll have two cars at the race this weekend. I'm friggin' stoked for him. Brent and Jamie, you know, these guys and Shane, all these guys are the hardest working guys in this industry. I guarantee you that. And uh, for them to be out there ripping their own cars is really, really awesome. Normally they're out there helping everybody else. And uh, this time they get to rip their own, so. I can't wait to see that. I'm more excited to do that than race my own car, to be honest with you. Fun. That's not a good thing. Pretty sticky here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's close. Yikes. I got an old, old twin disc in there. The sound of Freedom Boys, the Freedom Civic, running again. Well, right she's running. Running. She's running on all four. That's good. That's a good start. Heck yeah. I don't think your pump's pumping, Brent. All right, boys, here we go. Put the slicks on the front. We'll definitely know now. There's not, I don't think there's any left. Sorry, there's our power. But when they said stop, there was water. All right. So it was def it was definitely on the tires. There's our there's our power. It's back. But you don't have a cool pressure sensor. Yes, I do. Don't work. Throw those fucking tires away. Yeah, I will. They're very very old. Uh, I, see him on another I was going to I was going to change them before race week. Was road. I not going to put tires on the car before race week yeah. cuz they were trash? Yeah, you don't. I'm a fucking But car. you guys didn't do it, so he said I didn't need I to. I didn't need to. You don't you drive with those tires on one time. No, no, they're not. <laughs> I won't drive. All right, so I think we've got somewhat worked out 650 
And then, where are we at? Almost to the top. Were you at the end of the RPM scale or did we cut you off? I'm good, so radiator cap, crappy, so we're going to take that off and swap it with one. I got a couple more little things to do to the car, but we're happy with that. The tires were just trashed and spinning on the dyno. Uh, made 641. Pretty happy with that. So we thought it was pushing through the clutch, but it's not. It was the tires. So you can see the... Uh, my, what my street tires were doing to the dyno. Aaron's about to get fifth degree burns, taking my cap off. But I think we're all good. Guys, yeah, so well, as you can see, the Freedom Civic is no longer on the lift. Brett's got her on the dyno. Uh, yeah. You ready for this? I hope so. I am ready. The last time I saw this car roll is when it shot water to the ceiling. That's not happening. That's not, it's not going to happen again. And then we, we built a motor overnight and you made it to the track, so. But let the freedom rain. What is this? Is this race week? Freedom Civic's all done. It made a good 893. Brent's happy with that. That was on 20 pounds of boost. He runs upwards 40 plus at the track. So plenty of power for this thing to go A to B and uh, do what it needs to do. So they're going to load show enough up in the trailer and the Freedom Civic. I'm already loaded up and we're going to get out of here. Um, so what do you say, B? How you like PFI? Pretty cool? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Got Brianna out here, my daughter. My wife's over here in the other bay, but guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. My next video will be us all racing at the track. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give us a like and a subscribe, and we will see you guys at the drag strip.